So each one holds about 4,800 doses, uh -huh. but it's only 975 vials. Yeah. A new day in the battle against COVID-19. The first doses of the vaccine have now arrived in Illinois. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Bradley. And I'm Julie Henry. Laura Duarte has the day off. The U.S. death toll topped 300,000 from COVID-19 today, just as the rollout of vaccines get started. Here in Illinois, health officials reporting more than 7,200 new confirmed and probable cases, as well as 103 more deaths. Since the pandemic started, 14,390. 94 Illinois residents have lost their lives. The case positivity rate, though, continues to decline. It's now down to 8.7%. And the first COVID vaccine is now being administered to healthcare workers across the country as the national rollout gets underway. Let's turn things over to Sean Lewis for the latest on that part of the story. Hi, Sean. Yeah, hi there, Julie and Ben. Uh, this initial shipment of uh, roughly 3 million doses is enough for 3 million people. In three weeks, another 3 million doses will go out for that second shot for those same people. The logistics, though, to undertake the largest vaccination campaign in U.S. history is underway. Across the country tonight, hope is being unpacked from ultra cold storage. Shipments of the Pfizer vaccine left Kalamazoo, Michigan on Sunday and early Monday, bound for 145 destinations. There is not one part of this country that's not being touched uh, today through Wednesday. In Washington, D.C., health officials detailed the plans for the initial 2.9 million doses being shipped out and what's to come over the next several months. Each Friday from here on out, we will announce new weekly allocations of vaccine. It's likely that another vaccine may be authorized in the coming days if it meets FDA's rigorous standards. That second vaccine from Moderna is scheduled for FDA approval next week. For now. The first vaccination in New York State and possibly the first in the country outside of a trial went to a Long Island ICU nurse named Sandra Lindsay. I hope this marks the beginning to the end of a very painful time in our history. The first doses are going to frontline health care workers and residents of long-term care facilities who are at high risk. It will be months, though, before the general public will have access to the Pfizer vaccine or any others approved by the FDA. This is the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's a long tunnel. And we need people to continue to be do the right thing and the smart thing all through the holiday season. HHS Secretary Alex Azar, you heard from him in the piece, said that if the Moderna vaccine is approved next week, the U.S. has purchased enough doses from Moderna and from Pfizer for everyone in the United States to be vaccinated by June of 2021, mm -hmm. seven months from now. This is a good day. Thank it you, is. Sean. Thank you, Sean.